welcome, first of all. And just tell me a little bit about what you're trying to do with Blockchain Hub, because uh, I've been involved in it since it was kind of an idea in your head. But um, why, why Blockchain? Why Blockchain Hub? And what are you trying to do with Blockchain Hub? Basically, our vision for Blockchain Hub is a, a community-based innovation hub to connect research, education, and commercialization in one place. So it's, it's all about the community, a community of innovators, entrepreneurs, and uh, investors, and uh, also corporations that they are in interested in this space. Uh, they're getting together in this uh, foundation, and they can like, uh, think about the future of this technology and get some help from a community to build the actual use cases of those technologies. Um, we, what we are actually doing at the end of the day, we are empowering those communities by offering some uh, education and some um, actually tools to develop their own uh, blockchain ideas and also later on they can evaluate those ideas into uh, our communities and asking for help and advice from the communities. Um, that's, that's our the vision, bigger picture that we are uh, envisioning for this. Along the way, um, also in future, we're going to embrace more um, interdisciplinary approach, meaning that we're going to bring IoT, AI to this as well, because blockchain per se is a great platform for uh, transparency and like uh, um, and seeing the whole process. But I, I guess, for example, the ideas like auto autonomous vehicles and other uh, interesting um, future technologies going to be um, a, some sort of collaboration between blockchain and, uh, for example, AI and IoT and other emerging techs. So it's very important to understand uh, what is the capability of blockchain, that we are doing that in our community and also uh, trying to plug in those future technology and actually shaping the future of this uh, space. I think, you know, you, you kind of put in a nutshell what attracted me so much to the idea. So first of all, when we set up Best Lab, the idea was using leading edge technologies to solve important problems and then finding ways that in the process of doing that we would find commercialization opportunities either with large companies or through startups and and what makes blockchain so special is first of all to do a really good job you need to have some understanding of the technology so it is a technology driven force that will disrupt the marketplace it will change the nature of competition and the one thing we know when you change the nature of competition is you always get opportunity for startups for entrepreneurs so I know big companies will be adopting blockchain and improving their performance and finding new ways to serve customers. But there'll be gaps that they don't see or they're not fast enough to see that the entrepreneurs will. And so providing some guidance to them, both uh, from a technical point of view, a business point of view, and, and maybe even from a, a legal intellectual property or privacy or security point of view, uh, really builds on the capabilities that we're building at best. And I, you know, I'm so pleased that it's not just staying with blockchain, but it's expanding into other related areas. Um, because at the end of the day, blockchain will enable new types of businesses in a, a myriad of areas. And also the fact that, um, I guess we, in terms of emerging tech, um, the, um, the, because of the millennia and like new generation, the, the way they're looking at, uh, at the world and education and also at technology is completely different. And the, the fact that um, the, 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 the internet and all of this uh, flow of information around them, they, they give them some sort of capability that they haven't existed before. And um, the, the access to knowledge is not a um, basic barrier anymore but basic commercialization of those uh, knowledge and getting to work some sort of like use cases as the um, next step in this world I guess. And uh, that's why like power of, uh, the power of like uh, commercialization is uh, that the community is super important in this space and I guess uh, blockchain because of its nature and because of the, the, the very existence of it, it comes from a kind of like develop developers uh, communities. Uh, I guess um, uh, it's hard for bigger corporations to understand it. And um, that's why they, they started lots of uh, initiatives in blockchain. But uh, if you see like, you see like 80, 90% of the banks have at least uh, one initiative in blockchain, meaning a lot, meaning that they feel the disruption gonna happen in the future. And like the fact that they are charging customers for the settlement 
and for all of those like uh, middleman uh, tasks, uh, I mean, the, the, those are going to, by, by the power of this, the, this uh, blockchain and other uh, emerging tech, going to go away and uh, they are really like, worried about it and the, the reason they are all involved in this is this. The other thing about blockchain, I guess, is the fact that uh, there are lots of emphasis on decentralization and the fact that you can empower the crowd instead of uh, giving the authorities the middleman. It's like, by nature, it's very interesting to lots of uh, uh, different people, especially like, uh, as I said, millennia, that they are huge, uh, uh, basically part of the community and then they're going to be the next leaders because like uh, already the baby boomers are like retiring so it's the time for them the way they are uh, shaping the world and see the world uh, it can shape the world in future the way they are seeing the world and i guess uh, blockchain uh, give them the tool to be their own entrepreneur to set their own economy on top of the blockchain, having their own uh, way of incentivizing people by tokens or what, what dif different means. And I guess the fact that uh, also the resilience of the, 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 the whole platform based on different individuals and they are collaborating with each other, which is very basic of uh, uh, millennia's nature. I guess that's why the reason that uh, blockchain is so successful. And also, of course, there are different input from uh, pricing perspective and cryptocurrency pricing also that gives a uh, blockchain some sort of hype because they uh, compared to AI or IoT uh, there is a kind of monetary um, uh, thing for blockchain as well like um, you know Bitcoin price goes up or you, if you tokenize your economy or well, not only you you will um, get the uh, the control over your business but also you can later on introduce this token to the to the community as a sort of like investment long-term investment so there are lots of people uh, looking at this space at the moment and they want to explore more about it um, uh, as you mentioned like so what we are doing here we are we are we are facilitating this uh, connections can you can you just talk a little bit about how the community has grown because one of the things that surprised me was you know, we said we're going to have a meetup, and then all of a sudden, it's a big meetup, and there's all sorts of other things happening. So, can you just tell me a bit about the history and what you did, and why you think that that's been successful? Sure. So, I'm, I guess the, the the power of our community is, with the power of what we are doing is, we are translating very, very uh, heavy um, programming stuff in a very, very easy way to community that they can understand it. Uh, very good, like um, entrepreneurs, for example, they don't necessarily want to be developers or corporations, they don't want to be developers, they want to understand the nature of this business, this uh, technology from uh, uh, others' perspective. So what we're doing here, what we've done here is uh, empowering uh, those developers or giving them some tools to present themselves in this community and also by some sort of like a screening process that we do for, uh, for not necessarily for the ideas, but for the quality of the community engagement that we, we envision for future. So there are high quality pitches and like you, you, would, you wouldn't see uh, somewhere else like you have like this much uh, talented uh, entrepreneurs or uh, commercialization leaders getting one, in one place and helping each other. And I guess the fact that also if you're um, part of the university and uh, the, cr the public uh, expect universities to take a leadership in this, but um, at the moment uh, there is a gap here. There's a gap between uh, the thought leaders and like the, the traditional thought leaders and the actual entrepreneurs that are doing the work to make those ideas happen, right? So what we are also doing here uh, except that um, beside that community engagement is basically bringing this uh, valid uh, proposition which is research and like um, uh, academic mindset to this space and helping them to connect with uh, entrepreneurs and investors and investors see that value here because they are investors are some of them are coming from the traditional world there are some of them uh, or from, for example, um, I'm using that a lot, baby boomers are like the previous generation. So we are 
they're translating the technology in a way that they can understand that well as well. So that's why we have a lot of attention here. Um, and I guess th that's a very good place to be. So tell me a little bit about the Academy. Why, why do you have Blockchain Academy? What does it do? Why, why would people take a course? We, we started Academy, uh, actually we started the community with some sort of free offering, right? Um, as we do at the moment, we have a lot of different initiatives and all driven by our community members. And uh, we, you can come to uh, our community, learn about uh, how to program a blockchain, how to help us the legal aspect of it, what government says about blockchain, what uh, lawyers said about blockchain, what um, innovator says about blockchain, and what other uh, basically AI or IoT experts are also, t what's their uh, uh, perspective about blockchain. There was always a demand and a gap. That, like, I heard that along the way a lot of time that there's a gap between the actual blockchain ideas and the implementation of it. So the gap also partly comes from the lack of developers. The people who are basically trained to be developers uh, understanding the whole, the holiest, the, whole, the, 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 the general view of the, the, the problem and being able to deliver some sort of tangible uh, the, uh, programming or the tangible basically um, skill set to the, on the table. So always been this gap. So what we've done actually in the academy, oh, we try to structure a course that is con con including all of these skill set in one place. So after finishing the course, you're not necessarily, you're not only developers, but also you have a community of people in the same class that they are from different uh, part of the board. They are from consulting, they are from financial, they are from, uh, the, uh, the, some of them are entrepreneurs, so they are from different perspectives, sort of different boards. And the beauty of the most of our course offering is you're uh, helping those entrepreneurs, those developers to also work together. So at the end of the day, they are working on different exciting capstone projects that also those capstone projects originated from entrepreneurs. They are working on those projects and basically creating some sort of tangible asset. So what we are trying to achieve in Academy is creating some sort of tangible skill set for the people who are looking for an extra level of education. If they are looking for a regular education, we have our community that's very successful and very powerful, and they are offering that. But most of our community, uh, most of our, most of the people are involved in our uh, specific courses. They are uh, already uh, in certain point, and because of all of the screening process that we, we implemented uh, in, this, in choosing those uh, people to join the academy, I guess also um, validated. Like most of the people in the group are super talented and they're like from very uh, above average uh, skill set in this, this space. That's great, thank you.